Hello all, welcome you all back. In the last video we have seen the extended surfaces introduction and how to classify the problems. Then we have solved a one problem on long fin condition. Now we are going to solve some more problems on extended surfaces or fins. Look at the screen. In the problem it is given that an aluminium fin of 7 mm thickness and 50 mm long protrudes from a ball. So write the given data given as the thickness of the fin T equal to 7 mm. So that is equal to 7 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter. Then the length of the fin is equal to L equal to 50 mm then it is equal to 0 0.05 meters and it is maintained at 120 degrees celsius so base temperature equal to 120 degrees celsius which is equal to 393 kelvin and then the ambient temperature is that is fluid temperature t infinity equal to 22 degrees celsius in terms of kelvin it is 295 kelvin and the heat transfer coefficient is given as h equal to 140 watt per meter square kelvin and the thermal conductivity value k is equal to 55 watt per meter kelvin then there are three cases given in the problem so to find the first case is temperature that is temperature at the end of the fin in the last video itself i have told you if it is given at the end of the fin then you just take x equal to length of the fin that is x equal to l in the second case they are asking temperature at middle of the fin in case middle of the fin the x value become l divided by 2 for a case assume that the length of the fin is 100 mm then x equal to 100 mm that is x equal to l in case if it is asked in the middle of the fin if the length of the fin is 100 mm then at the middle x equal to 50 mm that is 100 divided by 2 so i am taking l divided by 2 so in the third case they are asking the heat total heat dissipated by the fin so q fin is asked, asked right so solution now you have to classify the problem whether it is uh, whether it is false whether it is a long fin problem or short fin problem since write down since L equal to 50 mm assume short fin condition assume short fin and here there is uh, no details given about the end condition whether it is insulated or not insulated already told you if it is not given you just assume end insulated condition end insulated that is there is no heat transfer from the end that is tip of the fin right so with this condition you have to take the formula from data book from hmt data book page number 50 from the context you can take the page number from page number 50 this is your page number 50 and the tabulations this is your page number 50 and the tabulations are given here for short fin now you are going to find out the temperature at the end of the fin so you have to take the value of temperature distribution for temperature distribution formula the left hand side is this one that is t minus t infinity divided by t b minus t infinity for the right hand side you must take the short fin at the second column is cos hyperbolic cos hyperbolic m into l minus x divided by cos hyperbolic m into l this is a formula 
given in the data book now m equal to from here m equal to root of hb by ka first find out the value of m so here m equal to h value is 140 into hp perimeter you have to find out perimeter equal to area equal to here the perimeter is nothing but 2 into l that is in the problem it is given that the length and the, and the thickness of the fin is given so perimeter is 2l and the area is l into t you stop substitute the value the answer will be 0 0.1 meter and here 3.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square right substitute the same value here 0 0.1 divided by k value is nothing but 55 into area is 3.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 okay so the m value becomes 26.96 now substitute this m value here so take the temperature distribution equation in the temperature distribution equation t minus t infinity is nothing but 295 so 295 divided by tb is 393 minus Again, T infinity is 295, which is equal to here cos hyperbolic M into L minus X. In the first condition, I am taking X equal to L. If you substitute here as L value, so L minus L equal to 0. So, 100 minus 100 equal to 0. Sorry, here it is given as 50. 50 minus 50 is 0. Cos hyperbolic 0 is 1. You can check in the calculator cos hyperbolic 0 is 1 divided by cos hyperbolic m, m value is 26.96 into this length is 50 into 10 to the power minus 3 right if you, substitute, if you calculate the answer will be t equal to 342.8 kelvin so this is for the first case for case 2, you just take the same values and here instead of x equal to L, you have to substitute L divided by 2. So, L minus L divided by 2 becomes L divided by 2 that is 50 minus 25. Here L equal to 50, X equal to 50 by 2, 25. So 25 mm, substitute here in meters, 25 into 20 to the power minus 3. Here substitute the value of M and the calculate the values. So the temperature at X equal to L by 2 becomes 354.04 Kelvin, right? This is the answer for second case. For case 3, you are asked to find out the heat loss from the fin. So, heat loss from the fin, you have to take the formula from the data book. In the data book, the heat transferred by the fin is given, that is Q equal to this value, root of HPKA, that is HPKA, the whole power 0 0.5 into Tb minus T infinity, tan hyperbolic M into L. The same formula I have to write here, in the left hand side, Q equal to root of HP KA and TB minus T infinity into tan hyperbolic M into L. Just substitute all the values and here tan hyperbolic into 26.96 into length of the fin is 50 into 20 to the power minus 3. So TB minus T infinity is nothing but 393 minus 295 that is 98 98 hpka values are given here you just substitute you will get the answer 44.4 watts as heat transfer okay this is the answer for the first problem now go to the second problem in the problem it is given that Rectangular aluminium fins of 0 0.5 millimeter square. So, given the fin profile is 0 0.5 mm square fin. 
if it is 0.5 square then thickness of the fin is 0.5 into 20 to the power minus 3 meter also the breadth or width w equal to b equal to 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters right so then in the problem it is given that 12 mm long fin so length of the fin equal to 12 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters the fin is attached on a plain plate which is maintained at 80 degree celsius so tb equal to 80 degree celsius and the surrounding air temperature is 22 degree celsius just convert this convert these values into kelvin and then calculate the number of fins required to heat to transfer the heat value of 35 into 10 to the power minus 3 watts so q equal to 35 into 10 to the power minus 3 watts right so this much amount of the heat has to be transferred by the formula you will find out the the heat transferred by a single fin right so this much this much amount of heat has to be transferred and take k equal to 165 watt per meter kelvin and h equal to 10 watt per meter squared kelvin assume there is no heat loss from the end of the fin right here to find number of fins required okay here area equal to width into t perimeter equal to 2 into w plus t substitute the value find out the area and the perimeters value and since l equal to 12 mm assume short fin condition and fin end insulated you know the value of q equal to from the data book from HMT data book page number 50 you know from the last problem itself you know the value of q equal to root of hpka tb minus t infinity tan hyperbolic m into l just substitute the value you will get an answer here right so that answer will be in watts this is equal to heat transfer by single fin okay then here just write number of fins required number of fins required equal to heat to be transferred divided by heat transferred by single fin here the heat to be transferred is 35 into 10 to the power minus 3 and you already found the value of heat transfer by the single fin just substitute the value here you will get number of fins required the number of fins required is about 3 okay so far we have discussed in long fin problem short fin problem and in short fin problem you have find out the number of fins required so now we are moving to the special case problem i told you in the first last video itself there is a special case problem the special case problem is nothing but you have seen the motor uh, casing motor casing in your labs and uh, motors used in your home for uh, pumping purposes right so that motor will have fins that is longitudinal fins along its length it will have longitudinal fins that problem we are going to solve now look at the problem a cylinder the motor casing no that casing is uh, taken as the cylinder a cylinder 1 meter long so just write given 
length of the cylinder equal to 1 meter and 5 centimeter in diameter. So diameter of the cylinder equal to 5 centimeter that is 0 0.05 meter. Then it is placed in the atmosphere which is at 45 degree Celsius. So T infinity equal to 45 degree Celsius which is equal to 318 Kelvin and the height and it is provided with 10 longitudinal straight fins. So number of fins equal to 10. Number of fins equal to 10. It is provided with 10 longitudinal fins having the K value as K equal to 120 watt per meter Kelvin. Just be careful while taking the thickness and height the height of the fin. Just read the sentence again and again. The height of the 0.76 mm thick fins is 1.27 centimeter. So thickness T value is 0.76 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters and this much thick fins has the height of 1.27 centimeter. So height is nothing but length of the fin. The length of the fin is 1.27 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters. Okay. So here thickness is 0.76 mm height is that is length is length of the fin is 1.27 centimeter. So it is given that centimeter. So it is 10 to the power minus 2 meters right and the value of h is given as 17 watt per meter squared Kelvin. The value of base temperature is 423 Kelvin. Then you are asked to find out calculate the rate of heat transfer to find rate of heat transfer. So rate of heat transfer is nothing but Q and then temperature at the end of the fins if the surface temperature is maintained at 150 degree Celsius that is base temperature is maintained as 150 degree Celsius right. So temperature at the end of the fin so comma temperature at x equal to L. These two values you have to find out. Okay. Now assume that there is a cylinder. I am representing the same in picture. Pictorial representation. Right. So this is your cylinder. The cylinder diameter is 0 0.05 meter and it is attached with 10 number of longitudinal spins. So here I am drawing only one fin so if it in if it is 10 number of fins second third fourth fifth sixth seventh one eighth one ninth one ten one so ten number of longitudinal fins are attached with this cylinder like this Like this there are 10 number of fins are attached with this cylinder. So the length of the cylinder is nothing but this one is the length of the cylinder L cylinder. So similarly the height of the fin that is length of the fin is given as this is your length of the fin. Okay now go to the problem solution. So you have to first identify the type of fin given in the problem. The length of the fin is given as 1.27 LF equal to 1.27 centimeter. So assume short fin condition. Assume short fin and end insulated. It is not given. So just take end insulated. Right. So here the perimeter value P equal to 2 into length of the cylinder. This fin perimeter is nothing but heat is transferred in this direction. Right. 
so heat is trans if heat is transferred in this direction you have to take the area opposite that is perpendicular to this heat flow direction the area perpendicular to this heat flow direction is this one so area is this one and the perimeter value is this one is the perimeter value right so for the perimeter value L into 2 into length of the cylinder. The length is L Y. Fin length is L Y. This length is L Y. This length is L fin. And this is your thickness of the fin. So, the perimeter is nothing but 2 into L cylinder which is equal to 2 centimeter. Similarly, area equal to this cross sectional area. Length of the cylinder into thickness. L cylinder into thickness which is equal to 0 0.76 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter squared. Now find out the value of m. m equal to root of hp divided by ke. So just substitute all the values you will get 19.3 as the value of m. Now from the data book from hmt data book you know the page number 50 so just take the formula for q q equal to we already last uh, we already seen in the last problem itself so h equal to root of hp ka tb minus t infinity into tan hyperbolic m into l just substitute all the values you have all the values here just substitute the value you will get q equal to 44.3 watts this is heat this value is nothing but heat transferred by a single fin now you have to find out the heat total amount of heat transferred by all the fins so number of fins is 10 so q1 that is q1 equal to 44.3 into number of fins is 10 which is equal to 443 kelvin right okay next thing in a cylinder, just take the cylinder like this. In a cylinder, there are fins attached like this. Okay, like this, there are fins attached. Now you have find out the total amount of heat transfer from the fin. This from the fins, you have find out the values of heat transferred. Right now, from this cylinder area also cylinder base area so cylinder surface area no this cylinder surface area also transfers the heat to the atmosphere that transferred amount of heat has to be find out so that is nothing but heat transfer from unfinned surface unfinned surface heat transfer from unfinned surface due to convection due to convection is you know the value you know the formula for heat transfer by the convection that is nothing but newton's law of cooling h a del t so here h is nothing but your h value is given in the problem as 17 into now area you have to find out now this total area this total surface area you can easily found out that is the total surface area of the cylinder is nothing but perimeter into length of the cylinder so perimeter is nothing but pi into d diameter of the cylinder into length of the cylinder minus you have to subtract subtract the area in which these fins this 10 number of fins is attached so this it is nothing but here one fin is attached this area will not con convect the heat to the atmosphere though so that area has to be neglected that area is nothing but this t into length of the cylinder so this t into length so this same area this area we already told you know this same area is attached with the base that is the cylinder so this is this area is for one one fin and you have to make it for 10 number of fins to 10 into length of the cylinder into thickness 
right so this is the bar area this area is nothing but this value is the the bar area that is unfinned surface area into tb minus t infinity right substitute so this is your cylinder area this is your finned area if you subtract these two values you will get unfinned surface area of the cylinder if you substitute the values you will get 280.2 watts as your answer now the total amount of heat q equal to this is your q2 the heat transferred by the fin plus heat transferred by the unfinned area q1 plus q2 these two values has to be added together and you will get 723 watts as the answer so in the second subdivision that is case 2 you are asked to find out the temperature at the end of the fin just take the formula from the data book that is t minus t infinity divided by tb minus t infinity which is equal to in the right hand side you have to write cos hyperbolic m into L minus X divided by cos hyperbolic M into L. You know the value of M already. So here at the end of the fin, you have to just substitute X equal to L. So the top uh, numerator value will become 1. So 1 divided by cos hyperbolic ML. So you can find out the value of T. So the T value is 419.94 Kelvin. Okay, this is the answer for temperature value at the end tip, tip of the fin. Thank you all for watching the video.